Okay. So let us understand about one of the properties of rational number and its application. Now this property stands like this. It says, let's say for example you have two rational numbers, okay, a upon b and c upon d. a, b, c, d can have any value and this will hold true for all of them, right? Or well, let me just write this as c upon d, right? Now what this property says is that for any two rational numbers, if you do a cross multiplication in the sense that you multiply a with d and you multiply b with c, okay? In that case, a into d is always equal to b into c, right? But the thing that you need to notice that these have to be equivalent rational numbers, okay? So if these two are equivalent rational numbers, then the product of the numerator of one and the denominator of the other for two rational numbers, for two equivalent rational numbers I should say, a upon b and c upon d, product of numerator of one number and the denominator of other, numerator of one, denominator of other, is always equal to the product of denominator of first, which is b, and the numerator of second. Okay? So let's take two cases. 3 upon 6, okay, and let's say 7 upon 9, and 3 upon 6, and 4 upon 8 right now let's do the multiplication this way numerator of first 3 into denominator of second 9 the numerator of denominator of first 6 into numerator of second so if you do the multiplication what do you get you get 27 and here you get 6 into 7 is equal to 42 but what do I note these are not equal which means that these two numbers, 3 upon 6 and 7 upon 9, are not equivalent rational numbers. Okay? Let's try it out for this one. So we have 3 into 8, the cross multiplication. Then you have 6 into 4. 6 into 4 is equal to 24, 3 into 8 is equal to 24, and both of them are equal, which means, which means that 3 upon 6 and 4 upon 8 are equivalent rational numbers, okay? Let us take one small problem based on this. If x upon 7 and um, what do we take? 13 upon 91 are equivalent rational numbers, find value of x. Right? So you are given two rational numbers, x upon 7 and 13 upon 91. And you are told that both these numbers are equivalent. Okay? Now if these are equivalent, basically, then applying the above property, we will have x into 91 will be equal to 13 into 7. So x into 91 is equal to 13 into 7, right? Or you can simply have x is equal to 13 into 7 is how much? 91 divided by, take this to the denominator, 91. Both of them are 91 upon 91, which means x is equal to 
1. So applying this property you can also solve these variables. If you remember we had kind of computed equivalent fractions above okay by doing various methods you can apply this also to compute an equivalent fraction right 